What's up, everybody? It's that little intro before the intro. You know, I've always dreamed of being a singer, but I can't sing. Get ready for that man. That man's about to walk in. He want to sing now, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby. You don't know. All right. At least I'm humming. <laughs> See, I'm humming. You're trying to sing. Be careful, <laughs> brother. Be careful. I say, was humming, but then I showered. Oh, that's a good one. I got that's a good one, man. Now nah, I'm, I'm I'm less humming. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna say time. Hey, thanks, Mac Man, for dropping those uh, kind words of the network and your your fame and following. You know, just to be blessed with the the teardrops of success from you, graced upon thee, makes me feel even more special. Now all I need is a giant enema to pass on to the world. The world needs an enema. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Holiday season. Hope you su survived Cyber Monday. Yeah. I mean, you stayed at home and shopped online. Yeah. So Pornhub like usual. There you go. Th that that's what we're talking about here. Hey, you guys, it's a Tuesday. It's a double banger. I know every time I use that term, people take it the wrong way. But it is a double yeah, I banger. Was, I was getting excited for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> then I got nervous. <laughs> hey, look. Everybody knows. Adults have problems with these terms. Young folks don't. And I mean young adults. You know, the older folks, they all of a sudden get timid. They forgot what they used to do. They forgot how they used to stroll. All of a sudden, now they get a certain age. A certain wisdom kicks in, and they talk about what they're not going to do anymore. Well, you need to get on that other sea of love. Because this man is about to drop it to you. That's right. Time to get up and get into your exercise mode, everybody. Get up and flap your wings. That's why we start off the show with... Some exercise moments, the extended <laughs> intro, in order to for you to extend movement into your limbs. Get both hands out of your pockets if you're not counting change. <laughs> Welcome, you guys. I'm keeping it smooth and real because it's morning coffee with the man back from Amsterdam, Mario Hemsley. He's dropping that red because he knows the color of love and life. I'm not sure if... Is that a vest or is that a water preserver? <laughs> It's my travel pass. <laughs> I think it's hot, man. I wish I had one, man. I wish I had one. Hey, look, you know, we're going to bring you a, a myriad of entertainment success today. Notice I say success because the people going to talk about are already successful. I'm going to bring you hot pigs because there are searchable women on this planet that are in the top five. And we bring the new new sports because if you didn't see that Seattle game yesterday, it was an earthquake. And I feel them saints learn what it was like to get sh get shaken up. In the meantime, Mario's going to bring you the monologue of the day. Everybody can lose sometimes. Yeah, that's right. You know what? This, this is about money. If I'm your general manager and I'm on the uh, Saints team, something's got to change because the road to the Super Bowl seems to be going right now through Seattle. But maybe Carolina Panthers have something. San Francisco have something. But that's not only it. We're going to talk about the Eastern Conference NBA dwellers. We're talking about dwelling in the obscurity. The Eastern Conference is having problems, bro. But, Mark, what do you got for me? Hot, hot news or good news? Oh, you guys, first of all, it's the holiday season, so I got all kind of gift suggestions. Okay. The latest in gift suggestions. <laughs> See, you're not being real. See, you're not being real. See, you're trying to do. You got to give somebody something, man. Okay, all right. <laughs> I got new facts on legal marijuana. There you go. Because that's how I found it. Shit. Okay, you guys. My stuff is going all over. <laughs> this one goes vibe with it. Vibe with it. Now, see, this is the part I love, man. That's all right. Because I was putting in new mics last night. So, you know. Let's. <laughs> Any mini mic. Yeah, I know the mix is all Dude, jacked up. It's so funny. Sometimes it's like that, so what? Get up and jam anyway. Don't rap. Because today is another day. Don't rap. Be cool. Don't rap. Get your fruit. Don't rap. Be cool. Don't rap. Get your soup. Don't rap. 
<laughs> Give us a break. Do the wave. Do something, man. Let's just let's, let's, let's let's do, do what, what we came to do. do. This is wrong. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Everyone, be cool. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, Mike's all. See, I'm switching. You had okay. a plan. You had a plan, right? Yeah. But see, the, the best laid plans. I see the whole point about this. Let, let me just stop. Let me say welcome to everybody because, you know, if, if you allow uh, anyone to get on the mic and just say what they want to, it really feels kind of liberating. Now, I feel like I get see, this blessing. I enjoy this blessing because I don't have to worry about being politically all correct. Right. Testing one, two, three. There you go. All right. Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> see, see, this is the part I love. All those wonderful adjustments you made, though, they pay off. They just take about a show or two. I'm still getting a bunch of pops and stuff. So, like, you know. Mm. But we're getting, you know, we're working on it. We wanted to be able to have, what. here's what the issue is, you guys. When you do these shows like this, you got the headphones and stuff. What happens when you have to do those shows when you essentially need to jam? That's right. Jamming is too, all of a sudden you can't even use the same mic. <laughs> no, no. And what you're trying to do is satisfy a number of groups. Your personal ear as a host. Also, the producer who actually has a director who is actually going to monitor your audio, which is you. Then you have the in the room or in the studio guests. And then you have the, the fans who are watching online as we stream this show. All, so that. all, all of that, yeah. and, and so I'm working on my mic especially because you know I'm working. On, <laughs> yeah, it's a good mic, man. It sounds rich though, man. Got to get. Well, that's the, my old. But see, it's, I didn't have everything set up for this, so it needs to have some things adjusted to it to kind of get it back in shape. Right. But that's okay. So excuse some of that today, as I as I attempt to adjust the audio, recognize we're making changes because we're going to have more jamming in the studio. So welcome everybody. It is Tuesday, December twenty. December 3rd, 2013, okay, and every week we have a weekly quotation. Uh, this week, we've been trying hard, you know, we had a bunch of weekly quotations from Mark Twain, also known as Samuel Clemens, and I love those, you know, you know how it is, it's just sort of the Jonathan Martin syndrome thing, we have been accused of sometimes of being too intellectual for some of our urban friends. Really? And some of our neo-urban friends, so... Because they have accused us, I did get those quotes now that I'm featuring now. Quotes by Dr. Zeus. I, I got, I got, I have my own quote after you do your quote. <laughs> okay, all right, we'll go, all right. All right, first of all, the quote by Dr. Zeus is, and I quote, Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. <laughs> you know what? As a Dr. Zeus. That sounds like something George Clinton would say in Parliament Funkadelic. Well, like that. I right? wanted to make sure. One thing about getting the Dr. Zeus quotes is that it breaks it down a little bit, right? Well, I got my it quote. It breaks it down, and, and it's sort of, you know, you, you get, you know, well, I'm sure yours will be better than that. So what's I don't yours know. Oh, it's very, I, I, I have to give props to this person, but I'm not going to say anything yet and wait until somebody busts me out. And say, common sense is not that common. That's wonderful. <laughs> That's like Spike Lee said, to do the right thing. To do the right thing. Is that it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> what? I was inspired by Dr. Seuss, man. <laughs> you know, keep it simple. And, it, right. and, and I think that one reigns for all those who say you're keeping it high, you're keeping it low, but you're right there, man. Well, that's the kind of reporting today. <laughs> Hey, you guys, I got a bunch of stuff, so we're going to have good news and bad news. I can tell you some of the things I'm reporting on today, Vic. Yeah. Okay, talk about offensive <laughs> sports mascots with names like the Redskins. Right. I found you a, a few of them that are worse than that. Yeah, high school or college? Both. Uh, I figure so. So I'm going to show you <laughs> some offensive school mascots. Also, I'm going to show you where the U.S. ranked internationally. Our kids, how do they rank on the math and science scores internationally? Where do you think we came in? I know we're already low. It's just how <laughs> low do you go? That's okay, and then I'm going to bring you five facts on the new legal marijuana. These are things people are talking about. Right. Five, and then the story of the day, because, you know, sometimes I, I have stuff prepared, but I always get up in the morning and have look at the news over coffee. Right. So this story, I'm calling it The Way Out of No Way. It's a story of survival that 
it's one of those stories where it makes you, it reaffirms your heart, your spirit again for this holiday season. So, how about you, buddy? Uh, mine is kind of simple. I'm going to bring you some new, new sports. A couple of things, you know. It's, it's not a good day when Auburn, Alabama is still suffering through that spanking that they got at the last play. Now, I'm not saying during the whole did game. Did they break the skin? They, they did this, but... A little faint red glow to it, 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 it carries off into a personal thing. You actually had a report of, uh, of course, a Alabama-Auburn argument that turned deadly, and it involved two women, only because one was talking about uh, not a true Alabama fan, and the other one was using other examples. And so? So the bottom line is the woman walks outside, the other woman walks outside, they continue to have an argument. So one pulls out a gun and shoots her three times, one in the chest, arm, and shoulder, I think. So that lets you know that the Alabama... Auburn argument is still going on. Those are the women. <laughs> That's the women. That's not right? even the guys. <laughs> right. The women are cutting and <laughs> acting all up. That's cutting and shooting and. Th- and I'm not oh. making light of it. I'm just letting you Man, know geez. how dedicated Alabama is. It makes it makes. That's their that's their national pastime. So we're just letting you know how they feel about that. Also, I don't mean to holler on the NBA. Eastern Conference, but when you only have three teams above 500, that even the Lakers, who are in 11th or 12th position in the Western Conference, by their record right now, would be in third in the Eastern Conference. It tells you that how sounds about bad. right. That's bad. Why, you got, why is that bad? Eastern Conference. We'll get yeah, into that later. Y'all keep okay, saying wait, stuff. Wait, wait, what is, makes it bad? Do you ever get into a performance-based incentives? Yes, but I'm just saying y'all are just always just, you know, hating on certain teams. I'm not hating. Teams. I'm, I'm well, not some hating. teams are in based on the talent they have. I guess I don't look at every team and think they can be judged as a potential, you know. Champion. No, I'm just saying the entire Eastern Conference is painfully playing under expectations. That's why you'll hear my segment titled, I Want My Cable Discount Return to Me With Extra. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then Hot Picks. Meanie. The most searched woman on the planet. And there is an asterisk to it because it's not always an artist to consider. It's not always a porn star either. Yeah. Is it a porn star? Nope. Oh, man. Because you know those porn stars. Five minutes of fame. That's right. <laughs> That's it. All right, you guys. Another other announcement is that remember that tonight at 8 p.m., is the Quiet Storm getting super holiday sexy, celebrating the holidays in a personal way. We want you guys to get your videos, your suggestions now. Now, you know we have our DJ by committee. It's a wonderful experience, the Quiet Storm, because it's a totally interactive show, interactive DJs. And some of those DJs, you know, they have a a special claim to fame. Mac McAllister, our GNM bureau chief, is the the producer, director uh, of the... Mac McAllister online with Mac Retro Jazz and Blue Show, the number one Retro Jazz and Blue Show. So he's there actively right. bringing his suggestions, suggestions, and also PMC, aka Philip Cusper, you know from Pittsburgh. And then we get our regulars like Miko, and then we got McLovin getting in there, and we got Lachula, and you never know, you never know. But the point is, we get a bunch of people interactive in that chat room interactive in that show as we have a special DJ experience. And tonight, we're framing the theme around getting super holiday sexy. So who knows what that means when people bring. That, and you don't have to follow the theme. That's so true. <laughs> you don't have to follow. You sure don't, man. You sure don't. We don't really have rules. Yeah. We have suggestions. Yeah. And PMC will not be joining us this m- morning. Um, he'll see us later this evening okay yeah just let you know he's working hard any of that holiday is hitting the wet and that weather and all that now remember tonight too at 7 p.m pacific standard time we're going to be having the holiday video extravaganza that's where i'm going to be setting up a bunch of youtube's most interesting holiday videos now you know you guys i might mix it up and get a little weird in there it's holiday videos it's how can you do that without getting it all depends it all depends on is it your weird or just weird in general (laughs) (laughs) see you see i have no idea yeah you may i only know my that's right that's what i'm saying i'm saying i'm gonna try to pick out holiday videos now you know 
back and ready. That's what I'm saying. You can get in the chat room and, and send some, you know, requests too for holiday videos. So 7 p.m. I'll be in the chat room spinning holiday videos, getting some holiday cheer. You'll be able to watch and get all holidayed out. So get a candle, whatever you need. Get a blow up doll. You need a little bit more incentive. <laughs> you know, you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, you, 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 you know, the, hey. Let's throw out the blow up doll. You see, the, well, that's your, you is that your incentive right now. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's So the story is your show is the premise is that the blow up dolls is the incentive to come watch the show or listen to it. Hey, man, that's pretty hard, <laughs> man. I'm just saying. Remember, there's always this catch phrase, the hook. What are you hooking them with? And you said blow up dolls. So I just want you to remember that in your metadata. I want you to know <laughs> that after getting back from Amsterdam, I have a different perspective. There's so many things. There are so many things that are different that we should just be ready for that. What can I say? Well, hey, you know, like I said, we're, we're looking for the other stories. This is Mac McAllister. Host of Online with Mac, Retro, Jazz, and Blues, syndicated at Pax Stereo TV, Neo Urban Internet TV to the max. Let me talk to you on the download for a quick second. If you are a media professional, maybe you have an indie label, or maybe you just want to promote yourself, your photos, or your videos. You're in the right place at the right time, and I'll tell you the reason why. The secret word for the day is Twitter. Once you understand the mechanics of tapping into this valuable resource, I can't then you can achieve your goals. Let me put it another way. Twitter is the lubricant that makes the wheels I need some more lubricant. Turn. So check in with the Cyber Dream Team, Mario, Daniel, or Victor. And tell him Mac McAllister said hello. Yeah, Mac McAllister, everybody. Yeah. Retro. Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time. No, it's that time. Huh? Because of-